The Mars Rover design team at Missouri s t has been hard at work over the last year developing the most advanced and capable rover we have ever built. Each system has been extensively tested through a combination of computer-aided design, finite element analysis, bench tests, and task simulation. The Mars Rover design team is proud to present our 10th rover, Prometheus. Prometheus is controlled by a modular distributed electrical system composed of 14 custom PCBs powered by an ADES 8P lithium ion battery which contains temperature, current, and voltage monitoring circuits. To interact with the rover, MRDT has written a custom GUI application in which operators are able to see and easily switch between camera views, monitor the rover's location on the map, and view diagnostic data sent from the rover. These systems provide operators with an insight into the rover's state, while an attachments manager displays results from the science hardware and allows precise control of the arm. To ensure safety, all electrical and software components follow a rigorous system of reviews and tests before integration. Commands, telemetry, and video feeds are sent over the network using one of two radio stacks, a 900 MHz antenna for reliable long-range, low-bandwidth applications, and a 5 GHz antenna for short-range, high-bandwidth applications. Prometheus utilizes the fifth iteration of our custom Manta suspension due to its exceptional ability to traverse rough terrain. It features a structural composite frame, carbon Kevlar wheels, gimbal and suspension cams, and a modular auxiliary mounting system. The offset differential and 23 linkage structure provides 7 degrees of freedom, while commercial gas springs increase responsiveness and range of motion. The robust drivetrain weighs in at 49 kilograms and folds inward using quick release pins. Prometheus was designed to withstand four simulated load cases, a neutral position, full speed collision, one meter drop, and wheels stuck while driving. The wheels are powered by new motor brushless DC motors producing 522 watts of power with a max speed of six meters per second and a max torque of 13.2 newton meters. Combined with a robotic arm and rigid gripper, Prometheus has the ability to pull, lift, and carry a large range of tools and objects while traveling over uneven terrain. Our new robotic arm is our longest, fastest, and most capable arm to date. It features a dual end effector system with an underactuated gripper and multifunctional utility end effector. The gripper is capable of interacting with and lifting a variety of tools and mission articles within its 1.5 meter working envelope. Each joint has been individually optimized to be able to lift upwards of 10 kilograms, exceeding competition requirements, and ensuring that any lifting or pulling task will be completed swiftly. The laser-guided utility end effector is designed to be quickly and precisely positioned to turn a 5 16 hex pull while the integrated solenoid can press keyboard keys effortlessly. 12-bit absolute encoders and limit switches allow precise positional control. We are continuing to use and develop our closed-loop inverse kinematic control, allowing for high-speed intuitive manipulation. For the autonomous task, Prometheus utilizes our custom navigation board for precise point-to-point -point GPS navigation. During navigation, Prometheus uses our Z2i stereo camera for two asynchronous computer vision algorithms. The first detects AR tags using OpenCV's Aruco library, and the second allows us to avoid obstacles seen in the Z3D point cloud. Once successfully reaching a marker or a gate, our rover will enter into a search pattern and spiral outward until the AR tags are found. The rover will then enter into a new navigation routine to either approach a single marker or maneuver through a gate. Completion of the task will then be indicated using the LED panel on the back of the rover. All of our new features go through a rigorous amount of both bench and field tests before getting a final review and ultimately being pushed to dev. This year, we've been able to utilize the WeBots robot simulator to bench test many of our autonomous algorithms virtually, allowing us to have more testing capabilities immediately available to us throughout development. For the science mission, MRDT is using a two-axis Cartesian arm to lower a scoop into the soil sites to collect samples. Water will seep into the soil and through a filter that will allow biomolecules to pass, allowing for more clear results. Biret, dish diphenylamine, and propadium iodine reagents sat in the test tubes will undergo reactions in the presence of proteins, DNA, and DNA from dead cells. The UV LED will allow us to view fluorescence when propadium iodide reacts. This year, we have introduced a novel heater system that will aid the dish reagent to produce a reaction. A single axis Cartesian arm lowers a box housing sensors, a microscope, and a custom built fluorometer. The sensors will detect concentrations of oxygen, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrogen dioxide, and nitrogen monoxide near soil and rock sites. The microscope's camera magnifies up to 200 times, allowing us to view in detail the mineralogy and characteristics of each rock. The base station will house a new custom rock database where users input features for it to output a confidence scale of the most probable type of rock. Lastly, the fluorometer will non-intrusively detect select biomarkers on the rocks. Thank you for your consideration. The Mars Rover Design Team looks forward to competing in the University Rover Challenge this June.